Hi, I'm Mark Toussaint. I am a jazz musician, singer, leader of a band. I hire the guys. I pick the songs. I organize the gigs. I set the, set the playlists. I do what needs to happen. I got started in playing music when I was very young. I really love music. It's kind of a thing that I've always had. Um, I had a million records. I spent every dime I got when I was a kid on records. Uh, loved my first record player I got at Gibson's. Rode, rode my bike, had a record player on my shoulder. It was fantastic. And uh, took them home, memorized them all. My mother hated them. So it made them all the more cool. And, uh, and so when I got older, I was in the choir in church and in the choir in college, and I always sang a little on and off, but never really officially until I got older. And I started a band, hired some incredibly good players, and um, they made everything so easy for me. And they encouraged me and taught me. And uh, I still don't really consider myself to be a musician to speak of. They're amazing and I have great respect for them and envy for their talents. But uh, I write the checks so it, it works out well for me. People ask me what my favorite song to sing is all the time, almost every night. Um, and the thing is, it changes with my mood. So, generally, my favorite song is my favorite song for that moment, for that hour, maybe for the night. Um, some songs are so much more challenging to sing. And a lot of the time, they're way over the heads of the audience. They don't get what you're trying to do. They don't even like the song, per se. Um, currently, a couple Duke Ellington tunes that are deeper. Um, come Sunday, it's kind of a Duke Ellington spiritual tune that he did, um, as well as In a Sentimental Mood, which is really hard to sing. But the melody is so beautiful. There are a lot of benefits to being a musician. One is, you don't really have to work. I mean, if, if you're doing what you really love and the people are really digging it, it's not work. It's so much fun. And you don't want it to be over. And then you get paid at the end, and that's so fantastic. Um, other benefits are, of course, people tell you you're wonderful all the time, which, you know, i got no problem with. But at the same time, as long as you don't take yourself so massively seriously, you're okay. There's always someone a lot better than you are waiting on the outside over there. Um, other benefits to being a musician? Hours aren't so terrible. And uh, you're with other people who think kind of the same way you do. And you're all working together as a group. And you don't have a choice. You have to. And so it's, it's fantastic. I love it. There are a couple drawbacks to having a band. Um, one of them is the hours are generally not good. I mean, you're playing late at night. You're playing every holiday if you're successful for parties or at the, at the club or whatever. And you're having to play oftentimes you're having to find that fine line between what you want to play and what the audience wants to play or what the bride's mother wants you to play. And so I always envy those particular artists who are at the level in their careers where they can play what they want all the time without having to really consider what, you know, the bride's mom wants you to play. Um, other drawbacks would be 
Uh, people think you make a ton of money when you're singing and you don't normally. Uh, but it's okay. It's all right. You're not in it for the money and that's all right. Um, another drawback would be it takes you away from your family sometimes if you're touring or um, generally musicians are emotional, non amazingly stable individuals and we group together and sometimes that drama can overtake you. Um, but other than that, I mean, that doesn't outweigh the benefits by any stretch of the imagination. I think that being the leader of the band has allowed me to grow as a person in a couple of different ways. One, it's made me a lot more organized. Two, I'm forced to work with people in a creative way. It forces me to be more creative. It forces me to understand or try to understand their creativity and incorporate that into what we're doing as a band. Um, it's helped me express things that I couldn't normally express. Uh, I don't know how to say that. Um, it's helped me... I can sing a song and send my emotions out with it, and I can see it affect the audience. And there's nothing quite like that, and that has really helped me psychologically, I guess. I have aspiring musicians come up to me all the time and they ask me if I have some great words of wisdom or something I can give to them. And uh, I don't have great words of wisdom for them. I can tell them a few things just from experience. One is don't be a musician because you want to make money doing it. Don't be a musician because you want to be someone else. You want to em you want to be Kanye West. Don't be a musician because you want to be Frank Sinatra. Don't be a musician because you want to be someone else. Be who you are. Emulate those people. But you have to be who you are in order to be successful because the music comes from inside of you. And if you're trying to be something out here, you're not going to contact what's in here. The music industry as a whole is changing so rapidly. In the past 10 years, it's changed dramatically anyway because of all of the different uh, changes in technology. But uh, because of the pandemic, A, musicians aren't working very much in out and about. So they're, I think and I hope that it will really bring a lot more innovation, a lot more you know, necessity is the mother of invention, so people are stuck at home. They're trying to create new technologies, they're creating new sounds, new production techniques. Um, it has really changed the audiences a lot in the few live performances that we do. They, uh, I think, are much more appreciative Actually, I don't. I hope it's not out of pity, but it should be. Um, they're they realize that I think many of them realize that live music is a challenged art. One of the effects that the COVID pandemic has had is that it's caused people to have to write a lot more. Um, we're taking a lot more time to write. Uh, we're internalizing a lot more because we're not just out there performing hardly at all anymore. Um, we're practicing, hopefully, and getting better at our instruments, different instruments. Um, and so that's something that's really been positive about the COVID.
situation, if you can find any kind of positive out of the COVID thing for 2020. Over the course of my lifetime, there have been so many musicians that I have listened to and tried to emulate and try to figure out what they're doing and how they're doing it. And I think of all of those. One that I have to have, i got to say, is by far the one that's affected me the most is Mel Torme. And Mel Torme, because of his styling, because of his vocal control, because of his perfect pitch, because of his writing ability and arranging ability. Um, he was even a great drummer. Um, it's got to be Mel Torme. Phrasing-wise, it's Frank Sinatra. Hands down, Frank Sinatra for phrasing. But in every other way, I think Mel Torme has got it, vocally. If it weren't for my music career, I would probably be still slaving away in my Volkswagen repair shop that I owned. Hopefully, I'd have a bigger parts business, I would have done a bunch of stuff on the internet, but I'm sure I'd be crawling around on the ground on my bad knees covered in muck. Um, which was okay, I suppose, but it wasn't what I was really born to do. Um, I've been very fortunate and very blessed to be able to do what it is that I do, just purely by the grace of God, I can do it. I think if I had to say one thing, it would be that being a musician is fantastic. It is wonderful because you can put all of your emotions into it, you can put all your energies into it, and you come out with something to show for it. You're affecting people. Um, it does vaporize the minute you do it. And sometimes at the end of a gig, you don't want it to be over. And it's all gone. It's into the universe and, and you have to start again every time. But I think whatever you do in your life, you need to find something that you can really put your soul into, whether it's working and whatever job you're doing, whether it's your family, whether it's your work, whether it's your art. If you don't find something that touches you inside, then you're going to just be living in a, in a kind of a gray world your whole life. And I think you deserve more than that.